is the server this is the one of my virtual machine uh, which are having a 10 uh, windows 10 deployed the same you can follow for the windows server as well i will go to the serial console here here in the serial console uh, whatever the task we will follow from here only because you may be not able to take the rtp for the server okay so uh, let me uh, go from the scratch only so that you can uh, able to see so here i will search for that serial console and you will get this prompt automatically So it will take uh, some time to load this console. We'll have to wait for that connection to be established. And uh, once it got completed, uh, we can proceed further for changes, whatever the Microsoft has suggested in this. So So as you can see here, uh, it saying that command is available. So first of all, head and type here the command. So as you can see here, the command prompt session was successfully launched. Once it got launched in the keypad, uh, in your keyboard, you just press tab along with escape button. Okay. And once you, uh, you press that one, will get this prompt here i will hit enter in my keyboard i will get an option for the username so i will use the username whatever i have and will get a domain for that one so if your vms are added to any of the domain you can mention here the domain name uh, for my case i do have i don't have the domain added so i Put it here the lo local and here i will put the password for my user okay and it basically it will authenticate that user user's credential and now i'm able to log into the server uh, and to the c drive the command prompt okay so first first thing i will go to this directory and uh, paste it here so this is driver so i will go to the drivers so i'm in the drivers now so let me direct to that path so and check whether these folders are available or not or we can uh, cd to that folder if it is available if you will enter to that so here in the case uh, we don't have the cloud uh, cloud strike folder created okay uh, since uh, i have just created this vm for demo perspective how do we can resolve that issue so uh, this folder is not yet available Min means uh, that issue got resolved directory uh, this is the directory uh, we yeah and this is the directory and here uh, in my case i don't have the directory in maybe in your case you will find this directory and after that just uh, write here the dir directory you will get this file this c file sys file okay you just delete that one other otherwise you just run this command just copy this one till that path and del and run that paste that one and hit enter so as you can see here the file the system cannot find this file specified means that file is not available to this folder so this is the way we can um, restore i mean so uh, we can recover our vm now uh, from that cloud strike pa recent patches